Saturday on the road. Lotus has introduced a brand new sports car, or rather I say a hyper car, that we are selling right beside here today. Welcome to Travel Care Review. Today we got an exclusive time and exclusive opportunity to take a look at Lotus new hyper car. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Amica hyper car. Talking about the interior, it seems really, really focused with the race cherry wheel, the instrument cluster, and those sports seats look really nice. powering this Lotus Hypercar. You have 239 PS, 1704 Nm of torque and it goes from 0 to 62 in 9.1 seconds. That's really fast for this Hypercar. So ladies and gentlemen, that's really a fast quick look at the Lotus Amita, the first new Hypercar for Lotus. But we are going to take a look at another car now. And another car we have here, this is the Lotus Amira, the super car for Lotus that we are going to take in depth look in this video as well. Maybe not on London roads, but on the countryside, really, yes. Um, other than that, you've got the drive modes over here because you do have drive modes on the car and you have a few shortcut controls. 
It got a wireless charging pad over here, but I'm not sure if my phone is going to fit over there. It got cup holders. Oh, that actually opens. You got storage space between USB sockets. Again, something really nice on the supercar. And yeah, overall, even the way uh, the seat is placed is really nice, comfortable. I can see out of the car really well, and the footwell area is also quite comfortable as well. As with a many supercars, the Lotus Amira is a two-seater, so you got driver and the passenger, and yep. Yeah, Again, you got the Amira first edition badge here, which reminds me that this is the first edition of the car. You have really nice mirrors, which are again usable, and you have a frameless in the mirror in the middle as well. No real mirror on the sun visor over here. That's a real shame, but who needs that on a supercar? The interior of the Lotus Amira is also pretty something black and brown. Looks really nice with its contrast with the silver accents around the AC vents and certain controls of the car looks really nice. And this seat is electrically adjustable, so you can adjust the seat electrically and as per your comfort, really really nice. And you know what's the best thing? The little view you get of the engine from the frameless rear view mirror looks really nice. What a lovely place. What do you think about the interior of the Lotus Amira? Let me know in the comment section below. Talking about what's power in this Lotus Amura Supercar. You got 400 PHP V6 supercharged engine. 420 Nm top torque can be held in a 6 speed manual or a DCT. You can go from 0 to 62 in 4.6 seconds. That's really quick for this supercar. So that's all about the Lotus Supercar that we were taking a look at today. Over there is the Amica, that's the Hypercar, and this is the Amura Supercar. Let us know which car you used like the most in the comment section below. Remember to like, share, and stay subscribe as always. We are filming this video at the Lotus dealership in London. I will put a beer also. You can take a look at where the dealership is. Come and take a look at the cars as well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Drive Media Reviews. I will see you soon in the next video.